Take one sniff. It won't hurt. A little party never hurt anyone, right? These are phrases you might hear when someone offers you a sniff of cocaine, but the effects are a lot more serious than you might think. And that's what we'll be talking about too. What cocaine is, how it's used, and all the ways it affects your brain. So let's get right into it. Cocaine is a highly addictive drug whose popularity has been on the rise in the recent past. In 2020, more than 19,000 people died from an overdose involving cocaine. Cocaine is usually used via snorting, that is people inhale from the nostrils where it's absorbed into the bloodstream through the nasal tissues. People may also rub it on their gums or inject it. Cocaine use ranges from occasional to repeated or compulsive use. With a variety of patterns between these extremes, cocaine acts by releasing a high amount of dopamine, which makes you feel good and leaves you wanting more. Dopamine is released when you feel good. Naturally, it's stimulated by reinforcing stimuli like food or sex, but cocaine interferes with the natural process. It binds to the dopamine transfer and blocks the removal of dopamine. Dopamine then accumulates in the synapses to produce an amplified signal to the receiving neurons. This is what causes the state of euphoria, commonly experienced immediately after taking the drug. The effects of cocaine are linked to the nervous system, and while we talk about it, let's talk about the effects it has on the brain. Cocaine has long-term effects on the brain. It can cause neuroadaptations in neurons releasing excitatory neurotransmitter glutamate, or ENG, which is needed to keep your brain functioning properly. Glutamate plays a major role in shaping learning and memory. Cocaine indirectly influences glutamate transmission in the limbic system, producing drastic changes in neuronal function that alter the behavioral effects of cocaine. Furthermore, research has proved that cocaine increases stress hormones. As cocaine increases the feeling good part, it intensifies other feelings as well. Stress can contribute to cocaine relapse, and cocaine use disorders frequently co-occur with stress-related disorders. Brain has stress circuits, a certain way in which it handles stress. Cocaine disrupts it. The ventral tegmental area seems to act as a critical integration site in the brain that relays information about both stress and drug cues to other areas of the brain, including ones that drive cocaine seeking. In return, whenever you're stressed, you'll turn to having more cocaine, which will result in making you an addict. There's more! Cocaine also decreases functioning in the orbital frontal cortex. This leads to power decision-making, inability to adapt to the effects of cocaine as well as a lack of self-awareness. These are the effects of cocaine on your brain only. You'll be shocked when you see the long-term effects and how fatal they can prove to be.